one, two, one, two. Okay. So he said that uh, there's like two types of grip. You can do the white grip or the closed grip. He likes the closed grip much. Yeah, the closed grip and white grip. He likes the closed grip. Because uh, when uh, when you like lifting up the bar from the racks, you, uh, your uh, back should be really like end up. It doesn't ma it doesn't matter like uh, do you squat from the mile lift or you just walked out your 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 back should be really straight and like bend up big air. If you're not gonna keep your back tight, the weight is gonna crush you. You're not gonna lift. It. So your your back should be really, really tight, really tight. Lifting up the, from the two legs, not from the one leg, from the two legs. One, two, two steps. He said that his stance is a little bit wider than his shoulders because wide stance he thinks that it's his top. He thinks that it's good for like grip bar lifting, but he's doing well. So his feet uh, turn a little bit to the different sides because uh, if it's going to be inside, uh, when he's going up, his, uh, the bar will just bend him forward. So uh, during, during squat, during, during squat, the, 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 the glutes and the knees, they should start together. And the, your knees should go outside, not inside, but outside, outside. And don't forget to hold your back tight. This is the move. Boom. Boom. He said if he's not gonna if he's not gonna keep his back tight, so the bar gonna flip him over. The back should be tight. Yeah, you should keep your back tight. And from that point, it's fixed. It's fixed. It's not moving. If you see, if you can see it from the side, his uh, his chest is open, and his back is flexed to back, and uh, his back is really tight. So, uh, the opinion again, if he's not going to keep his chest and back tight, the, the, he's going to just trip over. You should be able to hold the And uh, once again, you should keep up your head up, because uh, when you're going to look down, you're going to lose your stability, balance. This is what he's balanced. This is the right move. Here, is that how we ask him about his grip? Is that how he grips? He does a heavy weight? Yeah, he's using closed grip. No, no, he's using closed grip. He was just showing. Сказать можно, что не надо делать много шагов, чтобы не тратить энергию, когда выходишь. Да, еще один момент. Если вы выходите со штанги, не надо делать много шагов. Потому что когда у вас большой вес, вообще да, много сил уходит. Да, много это делать. Много уходит сил. And he's mentioned that you don't have to do like 10, 10 steps when you're walking out. It's, it's three more than enough. Two, three steps, because you're wasting too much energy. Because when you're holding a thousand pounds on your back, you can't really dance with that bar. <laughs> Simple.
It's really simple. You have to just put five, 500 pounds on each side. Just repeat the trick. So there's no secrets. It's really simple. Let me check. His knees. When you really warmed up, you have really nice clean move. So his knees, you can see from the side. So you can see from uh, from the side that uh, his knee level is almost like his feet level. Very much. A lot of times, like with the West Side, you know, they talk about pushing back and so forth. He looks like he's more of a conventional, like a drop. He simply is like, you know, Olympic like lifters go into simply down and straight. Is that because he's just raw or is that does he just basically just go down into a squat? That's how, that's how I've learned to go down with regular squats. <laughs> He said that uh, everybody is different and uh, you have to find out what's good for you. Like you have to find out your strongest point. Is it like classic? Like wide stand, uh, uh, like close stance uh, squat, or it should be like sumo squat. No, you have to find the balance. What's good for you? What's worked for you? In his case, he said that he can squat pretty much with the wide stance. So that's why he's doing, he's doing like classic, right. so conventional squats. But otherwise, like in different, uh, he's doing the uh, the same sumo deadlift. Right. So you see, so he's he's strong at the classical squat, but he's right. strong also on the sumo deadlift. Есть упражнения, когда садятся на тумбочку или на лавку. Mm -hmm. вот, когда вы делаете это упражнение, вы должны слегка касаться, вот, слегка, слегка, слегка касаться и сразу вставать. Если вы плотно садитесь, еще хуже расслабляетесь, то очень большое, очень большая нагрузка на позвоночник идет, и это очень опасно. So he said when... А ты делаешь такие пристанья на тропах? Нет, ну раньше мы делали. Ну, yeah, we spoke about the, the box squat, a lot of you guys doing box squat, but right. uh, he's not doing box squat for like seven years. But when he was doing that, the box squat, uh, he was just touching. So you don't have to sit and wait. You just you just touch up and you go up. You, you, you have to touch a little bit because when you, the worst case, when you're not touching, when you're going down and you're relaxing, you're sitting with the bar. And your back is your back is relaxed, and it's really can hurt your back. It's gonna take away the lifting from you. It's really dangerous that type of squat when you're relaxing on the box squat. Just touch and just touch. You don't also have to experiment with a like a badless badless squat because it's gonna take you nowhere. Eventually, it's gonna take you to injuries. So you don't don't be a hero. So he's saying that from his personal experience, because he was trying that, like squatting bloodless and he got like, back injuries. Makes no sense. Also, he can show the wraps, how he wraps his knees. Actually, it's not not hips, not knees, but back. Back. Right now, you should look be hard and just pull it back.
He, he said if you're not gonna lift up with your back, but with your knees, it's again, it's gonna just trip you over. The back, back is back is moving first. Oh. Then you walk, just the back. So if you start, he's racking up the back. So when he's wrapping his knees, uh, the point is to put the wraps tight and each each layer should go on half of the other layer. So you see, it's like going like this, layer by layer. Oh man, that hurts. <laughs> layer by layer. This is the secret. Thousand pound squat. Imagine you have to squat. <laughs> it's only one. It's only one leg. Pull, pull. More, more, more. Pull. Try. Stand up. You want the second leg? <laughs> you see, it's really, really tight. So you get the advantage. You get the advantage. Hold on, hold on. So you see, it comes by the layer, layer on layer. You cannot see, you cannot see the knee. It just goes by layer, layer. This is one layer. This is second layer. This is third layer. Let's go to the bench. Yeah. All right. In the first look. A lot of small things in the bench press. You have a lot of big benches, nice benches in the United States. But he's going to show what works good for him. First of all, you should argue back. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Lats helps you do lockouts. But if you're going to do the bench press like bodybuilders do, it's not going to give any effect. It's like two different types of bench presses. Powerlifting или просто в жиме в силовом локти надо обязательно поворачивать вот как бы внутрь внутрь и локти должны упираться в широчайшие мышцы то есть вот они я даже не могу опустить просто гриф. So he said in powerlifting or like bench press you have to use really your lats you have to really lose your lats and uh, you have to twist your arms and your elbow should go inside, not outside like bodybuilders do. Squeeze your shoulder blades, put your elbows inside. And you should be like, should go like this. You should be like sling, like slingshot. You should be really tight. You can't, you can't relax on the bottom. You, be, you should be really tight. You don't have tightness when you're relaxed. It's not really good. Don't forget about your legs. So it goes like this impulse. You're using lats, triceps and legs. So you should really push the bar, but not the, not to your head direction, but you should like push the bar to your legs. Вспомогательные упражнения для жима очень хорошие, когда это вы делаете жим стоя или сидя на переднем дыбе. Really nice additional exercise of the bench press. If you're doing military press it or standing, side raises, back raises, 
и широчайшие. And the bandage is glass. Широчайшие можете качать сверху. You can do pull-ups or the blocks. You can do the hurdle. Можете делать все на бок. Bend over all. То есть чем чем больше у вас будет спина, тем лучше вы будете выжимать штангу. He said, the, the bigger, the big, the bigger legs you have, the more you're gonna bench. And also, you should do triceps, like dips, cable. But he's not doing triceps. Uh, he said that he's not doing any additional exercises because it will be long. It's gonna take long time to recover. That's what. That's why, because he's super heavy weight, and for like. For the beginners, there's the, be the best, the build the basics. And he's not saying that his system is better than others, but he just lifting. He's just saying like, what's working for this guy, for him. Those basics, those are the basic principles of the bench press. Triceps, lats, and the legs. Any questions for that? He's gonna show us one more time. He liked the bench. Yeah, there should be. Ah? Should be obviously. Or a shirt, or some kind of covering that doesn't scratch the skin. You should put something on the knees, or you should have like uh, maybe like special shoes. They not slippery, and you have nice leg foundation. Because he uses his legs a lot. Also, you can do lockouts. So right now, uh, sometimes he's doing like Saturday. On Saturdays, he's doing lockouts or bench press and slingshot, as we spoke before. So one week you can do like almost small, small piece of wood, and the second you should be like bigger, bigger piece of wood. Если у вас срыв слабый, срыв слабый, то можно делать вот такое движение. If you have weak start, you should like do this exercise. If it's difficult to get the bar from the chest, you should do this exercise. Да. See, speed explosion. Половина движения. Но это движение надо делать только после основного жима. But this exercise you should do when you're done with the bench press. So it's gonna go like additional second exercise. Что ты делаешь для дожима, чтобы дожимать? Я делаю слимшот и делаю вот это вот движение, которое сейчас показал. So, so he's doing slingshot bench press and that exercise that he showed up. Yeah, so he's not doing no inclines, no dips. And this exercise, like for the explosion gym, he's doing those type of exercises. You have to be real explosive on the gym, on the on the bench press. So the whole energy should go in that move. Did you push straight or towards the feet or towards the right? Yeah, he puts towards his feet. Left side. Very good. Did you show how to move the feet? Toward his feet. Yeah, from here to here. Is he working various heights with the blocks in one session, or is he doing like one height? On one week and then next week doing like the higher. Five millimeters and ten. So ten millimeters, ten centimeters, ten centimeters. So 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 he has two types of breaks. He's doing two inches. And four inches. One week you're doing like two inches. Let's say like four four bench press. Four weeks you're doing like with the two inches. Then next you're gonna go higher, like bigger weight, but four inches. So like this, four inches. Can we move to the tic tac?
More questions? Take it, take it, though. Let's go deadlift.